Hi everyone, my name is Francis Laniel, and today I will present you my work about adding kconfig support to Cilium eBPF. First of all, what is eBPF? According to Brendan Gregg, a kernel developer, eBPF does to Linux what JavaScript does to HTML. And with eBPF, you can now write mini programs that run on events like Disk.io, which are run in a safe virtual machine in the kernel. libpf is a C helper library to interact with eBPF programs. It basically handles the loading, some verifying, and attaching the eBPF programs to kernel hooks. On another hand, Cilium eBPF is the Golang counterpart to libpf. In eBPF program, you may want to refer to some kernel config as depicted in the following eBPF program, which can be found in the kernel sources. While this is possible in libBPF, it was sadly not the case with Cilium eBPF before this contribution. You had to use a workaround like adding a Boolean eBPF parameter to your program, or using if dev guard and having then two different eBPF bytecodes. I will now detail how kconfig support was added to Cilium eBPF. First of all, after compiling the eBPF program, you get an eBPF bytecode. This bytecode contains several ELF sections, like text or data. If your program refers kernel config, it will contain the kconfig virtual section. When this section is present, Cilium eBPF creates a corresponding eBPF map. The first step was to set the correct size for the map and computing the good values of set. Then, Cilium eBPF computes the value of specific kconfig variables, like Linux kernel version or Linux as syscall wrapper. These values will be written as the map content. For example, Linux kernel version will be replaced by the VDSO value of Linux version code. For conventional config, we will need to first parse the kernel config. The parser was based on initial work from Timo Beckers. The parser first searches for kernel config located under slash boot or in slash proc slash config.gz. Once parsed, we will set the corresponding values in the map content. The final step consists in replace the kconfig variables read by loads to kconfig maps at the corresponding offset. On this slide, you can see the eBPF source code of the profile block IO gadget of Inspector Gadget. Before this contribution, I had to use ifdef and then having two different eBPF bytecodes to handle different kernel versions. With this contribution, I replaced the ifdef by a simple if, which is executed at runtime. The code is then easier, and I only have one eBPF bytecode. Also, the if could be optimized by the kernel verifier. As a conclusion, kconfig support was added to Cilium eBPF in version 0.11.0. You can now use it to modify eBPF program's behavior at runtime rather than using a workaround. I would like to thank Lawrence Bauer and Timo Beckers for their review and suggestion regarding this work. I thank you for your attention.